So, so it's out of the screenshot, but we're told the solids are similar, and we know the base lengths, and we're asked to work out the volume of the larger solid, given the volume of the smaller solid is 80 centimetres cubed. So you have three types of factors with enlargement. You have factors for enlargement that are times lengths, factors of enlargement for area, and factor of enlargement for volume, and they all come from the base um, enlargement factor. So we can see that k equals 2, because 8 is twice 2, so each length will be double. But the volume factor is going to be 2 cubed. So to work out the large volume, we take the small volume and we times it by 2 cubed, which is 80 times 8. So that comes to 640 centimetres cubed. Remember, the volume factor is k cubed. Now, the second part of the question um, is to do with the surface area. We're told that solid B, the larger surface area, is 160 centimetres squared, so we need to work out the smaller surface area. Well, the area factor, obviously we've got to divide this time as it's going to be smaller, the area factor is going to be 2 squared, which is going to be 4. So we divide by 4. Some people make the mistake always of thinking that each one of these will be, you know, multiply or divide by 2. But that's not the case. If you're doing area, it's 2 squared. And volume, it's 2 cubed. So two, 2 squared then for our area problem at the end is 4. 160 divided by 4 is 4 t. And the correct unit, of course, will be centimetres squared for area. And that's the answer to question 25.